the time do people just see it in the whites? I think it's. I think it's a badass little tank. Well, not little tank. How many gallons is this? It's 200 gallons. Wow. It's crazy though, man, because it only has four uh, lights or 15. That's it. So you don't need all these big lights. No, we don't. What well, we did in this case, if you, if you think about it, the XR 30s has two XR 15s. But they're like squished and the spread is like ridiculously weird. A nice tank right here. Monoporas, plating. I like those mushrooms. In the back. Old school pumps. Powerful. I gotta get one. SPS lovers. I don't know, you're, you're doing, you're, this tank looks awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm the only one that gets to see it like that, because it's like, it literally wraps down the closing tank. This is badass. Um, what is, what is this one? That's the strawberry shark. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to, I'm going to get a frag for you. Oh, man. A lot of SPS guys out there. I, I like I like this. I want to try to get there, but you know, with the SPS, all it is is just consistency. That's it. You know, the nitrates and phosphates, and you need to just like to make sure everything stays the same for a long period. Because if they fluctuate, their colors are going to vary. They're going to turn brownish, pinkish, because you don't have the nutrients and high nutrients, low light, um, high light. And you have high light, and you have low nutrients, they're going to change their colors once again. So it's like you need to keep a balance between them. Pretty much everything. Um, good flow. It's not messing with it pretty much. That's yeah, I, stop trying to play around, huh? That's exactly, the, that's exactly, the, that's a lot of mistakes a lot of people do, you know. You see a lot of stuff online and stuff, and they try to do it, but every single change you do, you, it's going to take you a month or two to see changes, you know. Uh -huh. It's not going to be from, like, one day to the next. Thank you. 
Well guys, this is a very impressive 200 gallon reef tank. You can see the variety of colors. I immediately got attracted to the zoanthids. I like the mixture that he has. It balances out the greens with the reds and the pinks and a little bit of a yellow. For me, I really appreciate the mixed reef. Um, I know that some people will just do strictly SPS dominant. You know, me, I'll do mostly ZOA dominant. But I like the mixed reef. I think the mixture of soft corals, SPS, LPS, and everything like that comes out really good and makes the reef tank pop. And if you just kick back and look at this tank right here, you can see why a mixed reef is the way to go. I also want you to kick back and think about this. If your LFS is, doesn't have a main display like this, a display that they take a lot of pride in, um, you know, maybe think about what they're saying, maybe not take it as serious, uh, because a main display in a local fish store most definitely is, uh, their credentials. You know, if they have a tank that's full of green hair algae and they're not doing anything to clean it up or husbandry or anything like that, then maybe I wouldn't take their advice so much. You're going to believe more of what you see. What you can physically see than, you know, just hearing someone talk. And uh, I'm lucky to have a nice LFS here. I have several nice LFSs in uh, El Paso, Texas. And uh, I just like coming down here, recording it, and uh, buying corals. Usually have a lot of fire here at the Coral Reef. So, big shout out to Alan and Daniel. Daniel is the owner of the Coral Reef, and Alan pretty much runs it does the maintenance and testing and uh, things like that. The lighting on here again is uh, some Radeon XR15s. Um, pretty pretty cool because I would expect uh, bigger fixtures, maybe some uh, the full-size Radeons, not the baby ones, but those baby ones are doing really well on this 200-gallon um, tank, as you can see. Uh, the corals aren't going to lie to you. You can see the colors. Polo extension is really well and um, I'm gonna show you guys a different video because it's gonna be a two-part video I didn't want to make it too long but uh, the second part of the video we're gonna do some top-down shots and it's just a totally different view a uh, totally different view of a uh, nice nice established colorful reef tank so for sure, drop some comments down below and uh, let them know what you think about their tanks. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I'll tell Alan uh, to be looking out on you. But look at this freaking polyp extension. That's why you guys love the SPS. Um, I love these colors and um, I'm going to try to get some frags of this stuff so I can, you know, change it up in my reef tank. I think uh, these are, the colors are really good. I get tired of the uh, greens, you know, but a little bit of green here, some yellow would be really nice in the tank. Of course, pink and red would good do good. And uh, we'll show you the tank here with the daylights on, um, but uh, made a special request to Alan, and he uh, kicked on the Tinix for me. So that's really, really cool. It was a, it was a nice uh, visit to the shop. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty surprised by the color of the SPS because um, there's not one T5 light fixture up above at all. And as you know, I like running T5s. I have uh, two bulbs on my tank, um, but I think probably this tank would benefit even more with some T5 bulbs. But even without them, you can see that the color is doing really well. So I guess it's just up to you on preference. I did record this tank uh, beginning of the year 
and uh, you can see the difference from then to now. It does take a little bit of time for things to start growing bigger and get different colors. Um, a lot of this stuff was a lot smaller back then. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a link so that way you can check out the other videos that I did of the coral reef. Um, this is just my preferred LFS that I like to go to. It's right here by the house. And, uh, you know, Alan's pretty knowledgeable when I go there. And uh, not only that, but they have a good variety of frags. So if you're definitely in the area coming in from out of town or something, uh, I would for sure hit them up. They are open on the weekends, and uh, that's perfect for me. So guys, I am going to be doing the second part of this video. And that second part of this video is going to be a top-down shot of this tank. This is a 200 gallons. It's going to be awesome. Totally different um, perspective looking down at a tank from you know above. And uh, it's going to be really nice. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and smash it. It's free. And I'm going to give you just a quick quick little teaser so that way you can see what I'm talking about um, awesome we're going to be having the Tinex on again and it's going to just be a different view let me know what you think about this video if you have any questions drop them down in the comments below and then we'll tell Alan and uh, they can probably answer you from there